Welcome to our Branch Pins video tutorial for iMindMap 5 where I'll be showing you how to use this handy tool and what it can do for you. Branch Pinning has been designed to work alongside the Smart Layout feature. If you are not sure what Smart Layout is, why not watch our Smart Layout video tutorial for more information. When you have Smart Layout turned on, Branch pins allow you to pin any branch or set of branches to your workspace. Whilst pinned, these branches are no longer affected by Smart Layout. So will remain static in position if Smart Layout or Cleanup moves your branches around your workspace. Let's have a look at how to pin a branch. Firstly, you need to click on the branch so it is selected. If you are a Windows user, you need to go to the Format tab. If you are a Mac user, this will be found under the Format menu. Under Layout, you will find a couple of options. First of all, we're going to look at how to pin a branch. So I'm going to select Pin a Branch. What you will see then is a red pin will now appear on the canvas on the, on the branch that you've pinned. This will pin the branch you've selected and any of its child branches. When you try to move a branch, the blue circle at the end of the branch will become grey so that you will no longer be able to move or reposition it. For more flexibility, there are also a couple of other ways you can pin a branch. I'm going to right mouse click on a branch and under pin you will see a number of options. Firstly, you can pin the branch which mirrors the act the action we've just completed. You can also decide to pin a branch and its children or to pin a branch and its parents. Let's have a quick look at pin branch and its parents. You will see that the speed, the speed branch was selected but also the parent branches Betty and Green are now pinned as well. If I was to right mouse click on the green branch I can now unpin a branch and unpin branch and children. Because it hasn't got a parent branch, it's the parent branch I'm selecting, the unpin, parent, unpin branch and parents isn't available. So I'm just going to click on that and you will see all the pins are removed. Just to refresh, if you want to pin a branch, the quickest and easiest way is to use the pin branch icon under format. To show you what branch pins actually do, I'm going to give you a quick overview. By zooming out, you will be able to see my set of branches. If I was trying to move the writing branch up slightly so it clashes with the individual branch which is pinned, what you should see is the writing branch moves but the individual branch that's pinned stays in position. To show you that again, I'm going to move, let's move speed down, so it's just trying to fit in the gap between individual and writing. And what you'll see is the individual pinned branch actually remains static and the speed and writing branch moves slightly out of position. The other way you can use pin branches is if you're using the cleanup button. The cleanup button will remove any white space redundant white space on your workspace and make sure your map is very neat. If I was to click on clean up now, you should have seen that a lot of my other branches around here moved by a smart layout to be neatly spaced but the individual branch main static because it's got the branch pin icon attached. Any smart layout actions that take place when you have a branch pinned, the branch that is pinned will remain static and will not move at any point. If you require any further information on branch pins, go to Tools and click on iMindMap Help and you'll be able to find a full help file with further details. Branch pinning will allow you to have complete control over your mind map so it can look exactly the way you would like it to work. It's a great time saving feature as well, particularly if you have a very organic, freehand looking map which you want to retain that structure but you also want to have the benefits of smart layout. 
I hope you enjoy branch pinning.